So gold foil can be hammered into very, very thin sheets. So here I have some edible gold foil, which just looks super fancy. And we're going to take that and put it on my morning toast to make it even more delicious. And I've never done this before, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. Oh, beautiful. Tastes amazing. All right, so we're gonna take some gold, not this stuff, but you get the idea. Very little of it though. And we're gonna put it into this aqua regia. So that gold is now dissolved in the aqua regia. And the fun story on that is there was a scientist who worked at the Bohr Institute named George Hevesy. And when the Nazis were coming, they had two Nobel medals. And if he got caught hiding them, they would kill him. And so what he did was he dissolved them into aqua regia, just like this. And there was a container of orange solution just sitting there. And nobody knew what it was. So they just left it there. And then later, after the war, they came back and that orange solution was still there. And they got the gold medal back out and they used it to recast the Nobel Prize medals. So this is the aqua regia after one piece of the gold foil has been dissolved in there. So we're going to go ahead and take a second piece and put that in there so we can see it from a different angle without some of the obscurity there.
So in order to dissolve the gold, what needs to happen is this needs to gain charge. Right now it's neutral gold when we're taking it out of the package, but we need that to turn into gold three plus charge. Right. In order to do that, we're using a mixture of hydrochloric acid with nitric acid. Now what the hydrochloric acid does, I believe, is that the, the oxygen here can grab that proton and this can then form a water molecule that leaves where these electrons go with it and we end up turning into a couple different things here. So one is to form a water molecule like that. But then the remainder of this is an NO2 plus. And that NO2 plus is the key because this NO2 plus is very good at seeking out electrons. And I know that the NO2 plus forms because when I mix the gold in there, even before I mix the gold in there, when I just mix these two together, this is going to go looking for electrons somewhere. And when it finds electrons, wherever it can find them, this is going to pick up an electron and turn into NO2. And NO2 is that brown gas. And that's why we see that when we mix this colorless clear solution and colorless clear solution that we get a yellowish color is because of that brown gas that is then um, moving out from out there. So the NO2 plus is also what's capable of reacting with the gold. And there the gold is transferring electrons so the gold can turn into gold 3 plus. And then that gold 3 plus is actually supported by the chlorides where it turns into some form of gold complex by the chloride ions. Uh, there's a couple different things that can exist. There's an AuCl4 complex with a negative one charge. Uh, this can also, obviously in such an acidic solution, this would then protonate and we would have a hydrogen ion somewhere attached there. Uh, but that is a little bit of the chemistry behind what's going on or what my understanding is of what's going on. And so what's cool is that you can take this and then you can add stuff to it later to turn this back into the gold, because gold is good at pulling in electrons. So if you give this something that it can take electrons from, it'll come back to here, and that's what Hevesy did, and therefore they were able to kind of rescue and protect those two Nobel Prizes from uh, Nazi